Teddy bears of all shapes and sizes are popping up in windows right across the country as part of the New Zealand bear hunt. It aims to give young families something to look forward to on their neighbourhood walks during lockdown. I caught up with the Great New Zealand Bear Hunt's Facebook administrator, Debbie Hoffman. We are encouraging people to put a soft toy or a teddy bear in their window. And just to clarify, these are teddy bears, not real bears. Um... Deb, thanks so much for joining us today. The founder of New Zealand Bear Hunt, a great initiative that's been started in Christchurch. Can you tell us the New Zealand Bear Hunt story? Yeah, for sure. It's great to be here with you. Thanks for having me on this thing. It's amazing. Uh, so yeah, NZ Bear Hunt started, um, it was the Sunday before New Zealand went into lockdown the first time, um, just sitting on the couch. And the concept of putting a bear in your window or a toy in the window was kind of around the global conversation like it was already happening in parts of the world and it came across my news feed I'm like we've got to make this a national focus like get get a movement behind this so literally sat on my couch Sunday afternoon just went bam we've got to do this started a Facebook page oh. created a Google map that people could pin their own beers to and then just push that page out to like local groups that I belong to and it went ballistic from there, just took off. Like, <laughs> I have no idea wow. how. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the concept is that you put a toy in your window and then everyone can just go on a hunt and try and find those bears. And, yeah. Wow. So it's the Sunday before lockdown because I remember the lockdown starting. And for me, anyway, it was a pretty instantaneous thing. Like, yeah. I don't think I remember seeing it coming quite so. No, abruptly. Did you have any... Kind of inside information, or was it just literally? I don't even remember. No, no, I think it was just that sense that if we do go into lockdown, this is going to mean a lot for the nation. Wow. And yeah. so, um, was just crucially aware, particularly of, I think, the mental health of the nation of like, what does this mean? How long is this going to be on for? We need a distraction. Yeah. And um, I think, like, I remember even in my mind's eye, like, imagining the people that I was setting it up for, like the mum solo mum with three kids in the house, yep, yep. like no other adult help that just needs to get out and reset, have a break. The elderly that are going to be sitting at home alone with no contact. Yep. Um, solo dads that are trying to work and manage family. Like I just had everyone sort of like in this encapsulated in this moment of like, we've got to do something. Wow. And yeah, so that whole idea of establishing the hunt so that people could get out of their homes yep. and reset, get into the sunshine, do the walking, and yeah. yeah, be able to then go home and just go, oh, okay, okay, we can face this again. Yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of the motivation behind it. Yeah, and I mean, the crazy thing is, even when I was out on a walk, I would see the bears, and I actually, in lockdown, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And I, but I saw the bears, and then over a period of maybe a couple of days searching on Facebook for these bears, I found out what it was yeah. through your page. I was like, are you serious? Yeah. This, is, yeah. this is actually a, a massive thing. Saw people posting about it. From literally the top of the North Island to the bottom of the South totally. Island, yeah, which is just crazy. Yeah. It gains so much traction I had so friends quickly. Ring from Wellington, they were out on a walk, yeah, and they're like, "Ah, oh, like Deb, this is your fault." <laughs> <laughs> and everywhere. so he rings me saying, oh, "We're out on a walk, and there is just bears everywhere." <laughs> so that was Wellington. Yes, it's oh. so amazing. That it is really amazing, and I mean, especially for those people who would have been really struggling yeah. during the lockdown. Yeah, I mean, for for many people job losses, having, as you said, having three kids at home, the solo mums, the elderly elderly that would have been alone at home, this really reached out to the to the ones struggling mm. in our society, mm. which I think is mm. such an important thing. Yeah. I mean, that's what... That's and it what, became multiple, multiple generational as well, multi-generational. Yeah, like, yeah, I think yeah. originally I was thinking kids, but then mm -hmm. it just, like, the light bulb moment of, like, now nah, this is generational. Yeah. And the stories that came out of that, proving that, was quite significant. Yeah. How, how many stories have you had sent to you from yeah, people quite that have a few. been impacted? And we'd done a few posts where, you know, tell us how it's impacted you. So we've heard quite a few stories. Wow. Um, I think two that stand out, um, there was one man that was very fearful about being, like an elderly man, being on his own and um, overwhelmed, realised that the bear hunt was on, started to put bears in his window and then as people were walking, he was able to engage. So then there was no isolation. He was actually meeting his neighbours, felt like he was contributing, and the whole thing just changed his mindset. 
that's amazing. And that's that's yeah. phenomenal, I think, for me. Like that <laughs> what would his story have been had there not been that ability to give outside of himself? Like yeah. yeah. And then um a lady that had had a, a loss to a sudden death just before lockdown. I think I get my stories blurred, but I think mm. she'd already been sick and had been in lockdown and then there was a sudden death and then the isolation of like, I'm gonna have to do this on my own. Yeah. Um, again, the bear hunt established connection with her neighbours. She ended up meeting her neighbours, which then created a support network, and there was no isolation. So uh, it's That's just amazing. yeah. Wow. And how does it? How do those stories impact you as the? Oh, it just of this? I mean, it blows me away a yeah. little bit because the scale is quite mind blowing. Yes. And I don't think I'll ever know the true reach and the true impact. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it certainly made it. Worthwhile. I bet. I bet. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. And at the start of this idea in your head, was it because from what you're saying, it doesn't sound like it was a complete product. Oh, no way. How did it gain that traction? How yeah. do you go from having an idea in your head to having a, a really well tailored experience for all New Zealanders? I know. Like, how does that happen? I know. So, yeah, I was like, oh, this might hit Christchurch. Maybe we'll get yeah. it locally. Yeah. And and someone actually posted on my Facebook feed and just said, like, you, you need to rename this. This can't be New Zealand Bear Hunt. You need, just need to make this Christchurch Bear Hunt because this is going to go ballistic. Mm. And I'm like, well, what's the end? The, the <laughs> what's, what's the, the problem? problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but the problem was is that the Google map originally, like it mm. just is like mental now that I think about it, but I was getting people to email me privately and mm. I was updating their addresses. I was pinning it. <sighs> And so once it gets to the hundreds, I'm like, I can't do this. This, yeah. is, this is not sustainable. So then I unlocked the map and people could just do it themselves. And we had, it was just appearing like overnight, just yeah. thousands. And then I think we got to 100 hit, sorry, 100,000 hits on the Google map. 100,000. I know. <laughs> so that's, that's not necessarily bears, that's yeah. visits. Like, wow. So someone might be revisiting. But yeah, 100,000 and it started to crash. I was like, okay, that's the end of it. I can't, I can't sustain this. We'll just have to let it be whatever it's going to oh, be. Yeah. And at that point, um, Sam from Traverse Services, which yeah. is a mapping company, like that's what they do for their job, he rings me just out of the blue. He's like, oh, hey, we could, we could help you with this. And so I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> not, still not even secure in the product. And that I thought, oh, okay, that's, yeah, I'd love to have you help. Like, that would be amazing. And so they established what's now our bear hunt map. Mm. Um, and then we've developed that further, which there's stories that can unfold from there. But, and then his mentor runs a, um, she runs uh, Strategic Marketing, I think it's called. And she came on board and built us a website. So we already had a website, but it was clunky as anything. <laughs> and then they've produced this. And then More FM came on board. The wow. Breakfast Club were That's doing like jingles for free. They were giving mm -hmm. us free airtime talking about it. Um, billboards in Auckland for free, two massive billboards. I just, people just came because the, yeah. they saw the value in the product and yeah. the focus that it was giving people. So, yeah, I guess you could say I had a barely viable product. Wow. And people came on board and. So people saw the. The merit in this product, they yeah. saw that this was actually a really, yeah. a really important thing yeah. to be Yeah, and right I now. think from their branding perspective, something important to get behind as far so, as yeah, the that's reach. A really good point. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. not, I don't think that was their motivation, yeah. but ooh, you'd be silly to not Absolutely, partner yeah. with something that's gonna yeah. push your brand as well. And then obviously, just under a dern, she posted, I think it was actually Clark that posted that, he, that there was a teddy bear in yeah. Premier House, wow. and the media was on it by that stage, and it just, Took off. See, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> your your idea from one Sunday night before yeah. lockdown got to Premier House. Yeah, and within weeks. Very, like within weeks, probably 10 yeah. days maybe. I don't know from memory. Like it's all that's a bit of a blur. Incredible. Yeah. I guess it just shows the mirror of an important idea that's actually going to help people. Yeah. And the goodness. I mean, it actually, it does. It, it brings light to the goodness in society. Yeah. I mean, people got behind it. New Zealand as a nation got yeah. behind it and they actually, they supported this idea that was based around helping people through this tough mm. time mm. Um, in their, with their mental health, with their loneliness. Mm. And I mean, that, if anything, that just shows the, the, the goodness that there is in society. Yeah. And, the, um, and that's the credit yeah. where I've always put the credit is with Kiwis. Like, cool. it's yeah. the heart of our nation. 
it's yeah. it's there intrinsically. Mm. So I I set up the idea, but it's actually the population of New Zealand that made it happen. Yeah, I couldn't have done that yeah. by putting a teddy bear in my window like that. Yeah, yeah. see that's really it's interesting because the, the tall poppy project. What we're what we're doing here is bringing a light onto the people who are rising above mm. the rest of the poppies. Mm. But in this situation, all of those poppies actually lifted each yep. other up, which totally. is kind of yep. that's, that's really. Peculiar, you don't hear many stories no, like that. And no. for it to be on a national level, yeah. that's something really special. Yeah. That's something yeah. incredibly special. Yeah. Did you expect it to become this big or was it a, a complete surprise to I you? I don't think I had any preconceived ideas of what I was doing because I wasn't doing it, I wasn't birthing it out of ego. I was birthing it out of a pain point for people. Wow, yeah. So it was like, whatever this is, it'll be successful. Like even if it was just Hallswell and Christchurch as a suburb, yeah. even if it was just Christchurch, even if it was Lower South, like I wasn't trying to create something of a success. Mm. I just figured if I could impact a few people, then job done. Yeah. So I, I think, yeah, like I said, no preconceived ideas. So the fact that it did go massive doesn't surprise me either because of the heart that was behind it. Yeah. If yeah. that makes sense. It, it absolutely yeah. does, yeah. And now moving forward... Not that we're out of mm. this, um, this COVID mm. mess yet. There's still obviously things happening around the world and around even New Zealand right mm. now. What does the future of New Zealand Bear Hunt look yeah. like? Yeah, so we're trying to establish at this point in time a charity. Like, we, yeah, we, I think there's too much value in the brand of NZ Bear Hunt and the heart behind it mm. is significant. And so we thought, well, it doesn't end at the end of a lockdown. There's more here that we can... Um, infiltrate society with, yeah. Um, yeah. and so yeah, we're we're right right now on the cusp. We have paperwork ready to go um, to become a charity, and the purposes behind that is um, to reinstate the bear hunt at any time of crisis, which we've just done with the second lockdown in Auckland. Yeah. Um, but we're also thinking wider scale for things like um, God help us, but another volcanic eruption, a mining mm. disaster. So where there's significant loss of life or damage, so earthquake or flooding, something you know that really impacts people, we would yeah. want to reinstate it as a sign of solidarity wow. um, for New Zealand standing with whoever's been impacted or affected by that. Um, then we're also wanting to get a prototype of a beer that we will then go to market with that people can buy yeah. and don't, they will donate those beers to kids in need where there's oh. trauma. I call it trauma crisis points yeah. where kids have gone through something fairly significant and, again, horrible to talk about, pretty dark, but where they've lost a parent to homicide or a sibling to homicide or suicide, fat car accidents. Mm. Um, but we could, we've got plans to go even wider. If we can get the beers to people, then we're not going to limit Yep. You know, crisis means a lot in a in yep. a in a various um, in various ways. So yeah, that would be our main focus right now, is just getting to that point of um, getting the prototype and then releasing that beer to different organisations on the ground that are already working with those people. Mm. And then um, Anthony's Windows was a mini series that we released. Yeah, yeah. I've seen so the, this episode. Nick and Ange McLean from Motion and Light, yep. a production company in Christchurch, they approached us. So again, another company that approached us with their talents to wow. say we want to. Um, add to the value of the bear hunt so yeah I really recommend people watch that so Anthony's Windows but big picture with that is that we create a curriculum that um, supports mental health and well-being particularly this, the message of resilience okay. for preschoolers and lower primary um, using Anthony and his friends so that's going to take experts in the room psychotherapists mm. psychologists yeah. um, so that's yeah, it's pretty massive and, and a little bit frightening to think, but that's on the table as well, as wow. far as where we want to head. That's huge. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, yeah. that is actually going to be yeah. huge. And I think there's a real need for that right now, especially in the education system, for a a robust curriculum around yeah. those things, around resilience, around uh, mental well-being. Yeah. Because there are ideas there right now, and there is a, re a real push for mindfulness and a real push for um, clearing your mind and clearing your thoughts. But I think if if you can get in there with this message that you've got, this message of hope and resilience through tough times, primary school children, they they'd grow up, um, they'd grow up with a with a stronger mindset towards yeah. these things. They grow up understanding mm. mental health and mental well being. And I think that man, yeah, what can that do apart from positive things for New Zealand's mm. future? Mm. 
It's huge. Yeah, so if we can get into the grassroots of preschoolers where their yeah. brain development yeah. is so, like the whole Nathan Wallace theory, yes. yeah. that first thousand hours, is it? Um, mm. I just, yeah. And not a message of um, you've got this and, and like in a negative way, this is what you've got and you're being diagnosed mm. with this. It's like, no, actually, you've got everything within you to be able to walk out life well yeah. and with strength. So not, not pandering to the problem, yeah. but empowering them to face whatever may come in life. That's, yeah, that's really yeah. powerful. Is there a moment throughout the journey of New Zealand Bear Hunt that has stood out as truly special mm. for you? Yeah, I think the, the day that the light bulb came on to say I've actually got a product here mm. that I just thought there was a whole group of people that were just being kind and helping me out to get, <laughs> get but there was just a moment where I was like oh actually this is a thing I, like I hate to say this because I'm not ego centred at all but one of the guys that's going to be the trustees he said um, Deb you're actually what's considered an influencer yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh yeah because we've got just under 25,000 followers on our Facebook feed See, so ridiculous. yeah <laughs> and I think so it was just like okay this this I've got something in my hand that I actually have to steward now like yeah. um I, I could still back away and go no this is not mm. what I want to do but at that point it was like a decision of like no nah, you've got something handed to you yeah. now make it work and that's where the ideas started to come in to let's actually give this some traction Mm. Um, even in the day to day during lockdown, the things that we started to do, and and obviously the trust forming the trust as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What sort of background do you have that has actually helped you formulate and become successful in your running of sure? NZB yeah, yeah. Hunt? So I've got two girls at the moment. So I'm a mum that now works at their school, so I work in the office there. <laughs> so you kind of could look at that and go, "Ha, oh, okay." So where does this come from? But prior to having kids, I was an executive manager in an organisation. Um, working with people, so um, everything from marketing to people care to managing staff, um, mm. events. Um, yeah, so I have got a fairly resourceful mind that has yeah. been sitting in, <laughs> I guess, a little bit dormant for a, a wee while. But I also had, um, you, I don't know if you even know this about me, Alex, but I had a, a personal health crisis about three years ago. Oh, wow. So um, I think a lot of what's been birthed in the bear hunt has come out of, again, that pain point of knowing what people go through yeah. and the, the fear of that isolation for the nation definitely came out of something that I had personally experienced. Mm. And so I wanted to, I guess, heal that before it hurt yep. kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. For the, yep. for the nation. So, yeah. Mm. Have you got any words of inspiration, maybe a final statement of inspiration for anyone who's in that position now where they've got an idea sitting there and they just don't know where to start with it. Have you yeah. got any words of inspiration yeah, yeah. for those people? I think, um, I guess what I said before about that pain point, like if you know that there's a pain point mm. and you've got people in your mind's eye, just start to live your life in that capacity. Mm. And then as that grows, I think organically an organisation or a movement can grow out of that. Yeah. Don't sit on it, just get active. And that could just be with the ones and twos and threes in your life already, but to start activating that that, pl that plan. And don't be concerned about the product not being perfect. Cool. Just go to market with it and you'll find that people, if it's, if it's legit, people will start to gravitate towards it. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Deb. I'm sure anyone listening will be inspired by your story and the story of NZ Bear Hunt. And I'm sure as NZ Bear Hunt goes on as a, an organization and mm. maybe a future charity, that it will continue to impact many people's lives. So thank you so much for joining Thanks. us. Thanks a lot.